Bye, Palmer. I love you. Oh my gosh. Good morning, everyone. Today is a somber morning here. It is the morning of our little Palmer K's surgery. So if you are new here, Palmer, our three-year-old, is getting her tonsils out, and it has been a journey to get to this point. The doctors denied her claim, saying it was pre-existing. She's three, but we finally got it worked out, and we're here to start. However, Dad lost his wallet. He can't find my wallet. He's gotta be out the door in five minutes, and he literally cannot find his wallet. Kind of feeling stressed. In fact, I'm freezing. It's like 100 degrees here all the time, but I am so cold, and I'm sure it's a nerve thing. I just woke up, like, shaking. We had a really rough night. Palmer woke up screaming. She has not done that in forever. She's a really good sleeper. And the worst part was, she was like, my legs hurt, I want medicine. Oh, you found it? Uh, you found it. She can't have medicine or liquid. She woke up wanting water, and she woke up wanting medicine because she said she, her legs were hurting. She cried for half an hour, and I was feeling my anxiety just like, build, 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 like, I can't give my child what she needs. I'm literally going to let her sit here and scream until she falls asleep. It was miserable. Thankfully, about half an hour in, she fell back asleep, but it has already been an eventful morning and it's only 5.15, it's gonna get better. JD is taking Palmer. I'm going to meet after our babysitter gets here at seven. She has to be there at six, I'll leave here at seven, and then her surgery's actually at 8.20. Wish us luck. Please say prayers, wish us luck, do all the things, because anytime your child goes under sedation, it's a big deal. Yeah. All right, it's time to wake up. It's time to wake up Palmer, time to wake up you. Myself. <laughs> to have swim camp today. So I have their stuff set out for the babysitter to drop them off. And then you guys, you know that Palmer's fully potty trained, but I don't know, when you under anesthesia, do you put them in bulbs? I, I don't really know. So I got her this new little gown. I'm gonna let her bring Elmo and a blanket, anything to comfort her because I am sure being three, this is going to be really scary. Cause it's really scary for me too. So after that fiasco, I ended up letting her sleep in our bedroom on our floor. So I'm gonna wake her up. Quick outfit change into her new dress. Homie, is that your surgery dress? It's so pretty. You look like Ariel. When we get home, do you want to watch Ariel and have ice cream with mommy? <laughs> okay, let's do it. Palmer's my only kid that's been attached to things. She has a favorite blanket. She has a favorite stuffed animal. Beauty ready. I love you. Be brave, okay? Hey. Remember, I am brave. I am brave. I am strong. I am strong. I can do this. I do this. My mom loves me. My mom loves me. Mom, who's taking me? Daddy's gonna take you. And mom will meet you there in a little bit, okay? Once Carly comes to babysit the other kids. I love you. Love you. All right, girlie. Mm, We're Dad, here. Dad. Let's hop on out. All right, let's go. Getting so big. Are you so big? Yeah. Yeah. Set to go. We just need to call. They're just gonna call her back, huh? Are you excited? Mm. Not so much. Hi, Nan. No, no. Oh, how you feeling? You feeling tired mm. and hungry? Mm. Yeah. She's been calling for food. Mm. You want some water? Yeah. Mm. Mm. Still wants 
mom. Should be any second we're gonna go back. Doctor's gonna explain what she's doing. So before they're gonna put, give her a little bit of gas to help her fall asleep, and then they'll put the IV in while she's asleep, so it's not so hard, which is, makes it really nice for when, uh, especially kids this age. So what I'm going to do, I'm, I'll go grab a warm blanket. I'm just going to kind of rub and go. Maybe some tears, but honestly, they get over it pretty quickly because I'm pointing all these things out. And showing them. She'll breathe down with a little mask of oxygen. We'll breathe that down so she didn't fall asleep with that oxygen mask on. And after that, we put an IV in, give her some medicine to help with pain and nausea. He does a case. We take the breathing tube out. We go to recovery room. She'll be in there until she wakes up. Are right there with her, they're so awesome. As soon as she's, you know, waking up and, and crying and, you know, there with us, we take her to phase two when they bring her back. Palmer, I'm gonna have you come with me. I got a balloon. You wanna yeah. come get a balloon? Yeah. Yay! It's purple. It's a purple balloon. Come with me. I know it's so earthy. Now take a care of her. Awesome. Promise. Hey. Bye, Palmer. I love you. That was even more different than Peyton's surgery. They don't wheel her back, they just took her. So now you need to go wait in the waiting room and it should only be like 15, 20 minutes and she gets back in recovery and then we're done and we go home. So pray for us. Oh my gosh, it's hard when they're only three years old. So pray for us. We'll see you on the other side. I'm frustrated. Judy literally sends me a text at 7 a.m. Surgery is at 8.20. So I plan on having the babysitter come at 7. I'll be there by 7.15. I'll be there for her to go back and all that. 7 a.m. He texts me and he's like, hey, they're taking her back. I'm like, okay, I hurry and get in the car so I can get here. 7.20 and he comes, he's like, he calls me. He's like, yeah, I just talked to the doctor. They're done. I missed the whole freaking thing. I stayed home so I could nurse Rocky. And so my babysitter didn't have to come at like 5 a.m. But at this point, I'm like, well, freak. I guess I should have. Update time. So they just took her back and I just talked with the doctor and they're already done. The doctor, he said that the, the tonsils are like this big. They were huge. He said that she did great. She's now back in recovery right now. So Michelle and I are just waiting in the waiting room, waiting for them to call us back so we can go spend some time with her as she wakes up and stuff. But uh, not until she wakes up will they let us go back there. So that's a little update. Can't wait for her to come out of the anesthesia. I just want to hold her and just spend time with her and just watch all the movies movies with her and just enjoy this time with her. All right, second update. She just came back, just coming out of anesthesia or, ana or coming out of it, and she is screaming, wailing. She doesn't understand what's going on. She's just waking up, so she just doesn't feel right. They say that her throat will kind of feel weird, so she's kind of coughing and, and screaming. Said that blood and saliva is normal, and that this reaction for a child is normal, so which kind of gives us a little bit of peace because and we heard her. We were we started going back, and we could hear her screaming out in, out in the hall, and so we really were anxious to get back there and, and to comfort her and help her. So they said that uh, this is very normal, not to be worried. Post op is going to be two hours, so we're going to wait with her for two hours and just hold her and watch TV and whatever in this little uh, post-surgery room and then we can go home with her. So I'm out, out to the van to hurry and grab a blanket for her, just one that she really wants and, and it gives her comfort. So I'm getting her a blanket and I'm gonna go back in.
can take it off here in a little bit, okay? Do you you want were so eyes? brave. And they brought you a popsicle because you were so brave. Do you have your popsicle? <laughs> you want your new drink? No, you did You're sick. You're sick? <laughs> you are sick. Does your throat hurt? <laughs> yeah. Do you want an ice cube to suck on? That'll help your throat feel better. Mm hmm. Yeah, you can have as many as you want, and I have apple juice. I can get you a new popsicle that's not melted. It really is. It's stinky. One of the stinkiest smells I've ever smelled. Tonsil breath. She's, the nurse said it would be like two weeks, but she's gonna have dragon breath. Oh, we're so happy to see you, Palmer. Yeah. Do you want another? Do you want another ice cube? I'm doing it. And what is water? water. Okay. Okay, it's water. It's water. Look, here's some water. Oh, is that good? They'll come take that out soon. Don't pull it out, okay? They'll, they'll come take it out soon. Oh, is that good water? Oh, you are brave. You are strong. So oh, proud of you, Palmer. Yeah, mom is so proud of her girl. sick or if he just didn't eat dinner or breakfast. <laughs> Night in here at the home where they said we can go home. So I just got her dressed and we are about to leave the hospital. Got her loaded in the car and we are on our way home. We're gonna go cuddle at home, okay? Okay. Update on our little angel. She just took a four hour nap. How are you feeling now that you're awake? What? Me pretty sick. <laughs> Me pretty sick. Palmer, I was wondering if you want any of this. Look. I went and busted out some stuff. Do you want any of these? Yeah. What one do you want? That? Yeah. Okay, let's do it. I won't lie, guys. She woke up and there were a lot of tears. She had been just over four hours without medicine. But the medicines kicked back in. We're about half an hour into her being awake. We have Mickey Mouse back on and I'm starting to get her to drink something. That is my next priority. If I do nothing else over the next two hours but get her to drink, my job will be complete. How does it feel? Mm-hmm. I had heard from plenty of you not to let her do straws. So I asked the doctor about it and she was actually like, your doctor doesn't think that that's accurate. So you can use straws. I asked him specifically about those little characters good to grow bottles and he said she's fine. I am letting her use one. What he said was that is better than nothing and nothing is what we've done. It's now four o'clock in the afternoon and I've gotten eight syringes in her mouth. I think they're like a teaspoon a piece. So I've got her eight teaspoons, three half popsicles and that's it. So I'm opening up one of those. I just know I have to keep her hydrated. Little update for our little girl. How you doing Pommy? Yeah. Are you doing all right? She has requested. Yeah, we've Papa. got some uh, Rolled up pancakes is what she wants. And also I'm not known so as Swedish sure pancakes. if we are gonna be, uh, or crepes. Oh yeah, right? that's probably right. Yeah, it's crepes. But I'm not so sure if this is a good idea or not. Um, I'm gonna be a little hesitant and say this is probably not the best idea. She's requesting it and she's feeling okay. So, yeah. right, this said just nothing hard. Soft. Yeah, I'm not gonna like make them crispy. Yeah. I don't make them really thin and cut them really small. Just make them so then she chews them up really good. I feel like if she's willing to eat, it's only gonna get worse over the next so couple days. So I'm kinda like, favorite. but she does have to finish her drink or else she can't have her look. She's gotta finish this little drink right there. <laughs> Just one sip at a time. Slow down there, sister. Chew it up. How do they taste? Good. Oh, I'm happy to see you eating. Also, hope we don't regret this. Slow down. Eat them slow. Okay. Do you need another one? Oh my. Okay, I will give you another one, but you have to drink this. Why you wait, okay? Wow. I can't bite all. This is great news. Palmer's day ended a little bit early. She fell asleep cuddling JD, so he's just carrying her to her room right now. Did you get her down? I don't want to see her. Did you get her down? She's so sweet. She's 
she is. It has been a day. Started at one five this morning. Yeah, yeah, I'm tired. Apparently, the worst is yet to come. I think day, day two, two and, three. and three are gonna be the worst days. That's sure. what you guys are telling us in the comments of our last video is that day two and three are going to be the worst. But we're here for it, it's fine. I kind of feel like good knowing that we're on the downhill. Like, although I guess it's like a little peak, but I can see the top of the downhill. Yeah. Are you tired too, buddy? It's been a long day. These kids had swim lessons. He had an like eight hour swim camp right Whoa, here. Is that and so he's tired good? and ready to go to bed. I get to carry him down to bed too now. Oh, this sweet, sweet boy. <laughs> he's got camp again tomorrow. Do you want to say goodnight to everybody? Good night. <laughs> to my sweet boys. And good night to you guys. Thank you so much for all of your love, support, prayers, well wishes during the surgery. This has been a lot for our family and we will keep you updated. Make sure you're subscribed so you can come back tomorrow and see how the recovery is for this surgery. So thanks right. for watching. Hey, thanks good guys, night. we'll see you next time.